For today's video, I wanted to go in and do a first impressions type video. I have a couple of new items that I purchased recently that I've been saving to use all at once. Um, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do today for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and try everything out, let you know what my opinions are on everything. Um, if I don't give my opinion right away, then I'll probably just save that for the end of the video and just let you know how everything worked out. Um, so yeah, so uh, that's what we have in store for today. So if you want to go ahead and see what my thoughts are on a couple of new products, or not new, but new for me, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I already did my brows off camera, so let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, I'm going to go in with this eye cream, e.l.f. Uh, illuminating Eye Cream. Go under the eye with it, and then I'll go ahead and prime after this. So while that settles under the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and prime the rest of my face. I'm going in with the Becca Ever Matte Primer, and I like to rub it in first, just so that I can disperse it, and then I like to just pat it in until it dries. So for foundation, I just got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. So for another first impression, I'm going to go in with this silicone sponge. I'm going to go in with the silicone sponge and see if that works. And if not, I'll just switch over to a beauty sponge. So I kind of feel that the foundation is just a little bit too thick for this Scylla sponge. So I think I'm just going to switch over to a beauty sponge. So I'm just switching over to my Morphe beauty sponge. So, so far with the foundation, um, I really like the coverage. I have to say, I think I've matched myself pretty well. Not bad. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Camo. And I'm going to try out the e.l.f. Uh, small stipple brush. I'm just going to go ahead and take that brush and then start blending everything out. Now for highlight, I'm just going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and speed through this process since I am not trying anything new. Actually, very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and see if this Scylla sponge works for the under eye. I'm switching over to the Morphe um, Beauty Sponge. I just feel like with the Scylla sponge, the product is, just feels a lot heavier on the skin than it should. Versus using a sponge, it just soaks up excess um, product. Now to set the under eyes, I'm going to go in with my Lauren Mercier Translucent Powder. And instead of just letting the product sit on top of your skin, you kind of just want to like press it in with the sponge itself. What that's going to do for you is just melt the product into your skin. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set wherever else I highlighted. So on the chin, on the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. So while I let that set, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm going to go in with the MAC Layin' Low Paint Pot. So now that we have the eyeshadow base down, we're just going to go ahead and set it with that same translucent powder. So now we're just going to go ahead and wipe away that translucent powder. And for bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and try out today Milani's Baked Bronzer in the color Dulce. For that, I'm going to take the Morphe R14. And then just put that on the contours of my face. This is also going to set the, con the cream contour that we placed earlier. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the same bronzer and then take a slightly, take an angled brush to contour my nose. I went ahead and I did my eyes off camera and for that I used the Juvia's Place, the Nubian palette. And I also just baked the sides of my face um, for my contour so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that off. And now for blush, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Dandelion blush. And I'm just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks. 
So now for highlighter, I actually purchased a couple of new highlighters that I wanted to go ahead and try out. Just not sure which one I want to use yet. Two of them are from e.l.f. And I have the shades Blush Gems and Moonlight Pearls. And I also bought the Milani Strobe Light. And I think it's in the color Day Glow. So in order to decide which one I'm going to use today, I'm going to go ahead and swatch a coat on the back of my hand. So I've heard that for these e.l.f. highlighters, you kind of need to just scrape off the first layer um, in order for it to give its full pigmentation. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So first, I'm going to go ahead and swatch blush gems. Can't really see the color pay off too much. So let me go ahead and try it one more time. So that's it right there. It's a really nice color. Now I'm going to go ahead and swatch Moonlight Pearls. And it's this lighter one right here. Also very nice. And then finally the Milani Day Glow. And it's this one right here. So I think for today's look, I'm going to go ahead and mix two of them. I'm going to mix Blush Gems and the Milani Day Glow. So I'm going to go ahead and put Blush Gems on first. I'm also just going to go ahead and pop some of this Milani uh, Day Glow in my inner corner. And by the way, and now to set the face, I'm going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics um, Setting Spray in the Scent Jasmine. So since this is new, I'm going to go ahead and just. So for lips today, I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Liquid Lipstick in Stripped. And then over top that, I went in with ColourPop um, Fairy Floss Lip Gloss. Alright guys, so that completes today's look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed this makeup look and the products that I tried today. Um, again, they worked out really well. I think the only thing that didn't work out for me was the Scylla sponge. I'm probably using it incorrectly. Um, I'm going to try it out with the LA Girl uh, foundation that I'm going to try. Uh, so that'll be on my next video and see how it works out with a liquid foundation instead of a stick foundation formula. Um, yeah, so that completes today's video. Uh, please go ahead and like this video, comment down below, um, and let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to post in the future. Um, so yeah, other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. And for that, I'm going to take the Marfi... Marfi?